So unfortunately for many patients, the diagnosis of bronchiectasis is significantly delayed from their initial symptoms. The symptoms of bronchiectasis can be very nonspecific. I mean, cough, shortness of breath, and oftentimes dry cough is bronchiectasis, but because it's not producing sputum, people may think about bronchiectasis less because of not having suspicion of that chronic infection uh, component. So what commonly happens is patients who have some shortness of breath or cough, or maybe have some slight changes in their pulmonary function testing, they get labeled as asthma or COPD long before they have any imaging. So these patients end up getting step up therapy for either asthma or COPD. And some of those therapies can actually be harmful uh, to patients with bronchiectasis. So inhaled corticosteroid, anti-muscarinic antagonists, these are all things that can be contraindicated in some patients who purely have bronchiectasis. I think the advice I generally give other clinicians, uh, whether other pulmonologists or, or primary care physicians, is if you have a patient who has COPD uh, or asthma or any other chronic lung disease who is not controlled on their current therapy, to get a CT scan to see if bronchiectasis or chronic infections are why those patients are not controlled.